This piece in, is entitled In Portia's Kitchen by Geoffrey Grenfell Hill. Although it is set in the uh, it is set in Shakespeare's 16th century Venice, but it is not actually part of his play The Merchant of Venice. I'll be portraying Mario, a kitchen boy. Ever since Lord Lorenzo came with his new wife Jessica, this household has not been the same. She flounces up to the best guest chamber and says, her husband is now in charge and she will mistress the lot of us. So what happens? One of those tinkers from down south turns up outside playing uh, with his tray of ribbons and such, playing a tune on his flute with a dancing monkey at his heel. And what does she do? Rushes out, all excited, and begs the tinker to sell his monkey to her. Now, he's not about to part this creature easily as he sees his chance to get a good price. Kanza saying no, no, to all the coins she has in her pocket. Then she rushes back in here, to her chamber, and gets this casket. And off she goes off to the tinker, offering him a ring. And when he sees the ring, his nasty little tinker eyes light up, and he takes the ring and hands over the monkey. Lady Jessica is pleased as punch. But I'm not, I can tell you. What does she do with this monkey each morning? She ties the creature to a lemon tree that grows in our courtyard, and the rope tied around his waist is so long, he can climb up of that window and come in here. Oh, I hate the little monster. What does he do? He sneers at last me in a devilish way and throws all my pots and pans around. He makes a beeline for the candy fruits and stuffs them in his mouth. Oh, I hate the little monster. What he does not eat, he throws on the floor. You should have seen the place when he discovered where the eggs are kept. Our steward has asked Lady Jessica to shorten the rope, but she laughs and says, monkeys need to jump around. Jump around? I'd like to jump on him. We can't wait for our Lady Portia to return. She'll get things back to normal. Oh, 